Sports games have become a dying phenomenon in the gaming industry. Now of course we have our big sports franchises such as FIFA, NBA, Madden, WWE and PES, but nothing really in the vein of traditional extreme sports games like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series or even the fan favourite series, Skate. The Tony Hawk's franchise attempted to make its new debut back in 2015 to the gaming scene. But sadly, that entry was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. It was a commercial flop as it only was ever really rated between 3 and 5 stars out of 10. Personally, I did pick up this title as I thought it would have been a throwback to the past, yet I stand corrected. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 was fun for a while, but after about half an hour of gameplay, it got tedious and boring. The many glitches that riddled the game left a bad taste in my mouth. I really wanted to enjoy it, but sadly the gameplay was just so repetitive and the challenges were just so mind-numbingly boring. I even went back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 recently and found it to be just as boring as it was on release. I thought by now they would have fixed all the bugs and improved the gameplay aspects, but perhaps I was wrong. Skate was an iconic extreme sports game. Its gameplay was truly fantastic, smooth and enjoyable. Each map just had character. Even though the maps were more grounded in reality compared to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Skate truly paved the way for skateboarding and extreme sports games, but sadly we haven't seen another entry into the Skate series since its last entry, Skate 3. But there is one game which may have done just enough to further the extreme sports genre. And that game, my friends, is Steep. Steep is an extreme winter sports game, with sports ranging from paragliding, wingsuit gliding, snowboarding and skiing, with a vast open mountain space to explore. The rocky terrain adds unique areas for you to explore, allowing for more varied gameplay and so you're not just going down one straight mountain. The various ways though to traverse the mountain plains adds to the replayability of Steep and can leave you playing the game for hours. For each extreme sport there are many challenges for you to complete where you can earn bronze, silver or gold achievements in game depending on if you can beat the set record. Now not to brag but personally for me I've completed every single challenge in gold and I have found every single location. Doing all this, plus many other various monotonous tasks, has led me to gain the Platinum Trophy on PlayStation 4 for Steep. Although Steep mainly consists of a colour palette of black, white and grey, the various views that you can get from the mountain tops are truly breathtaking as it truly shows how much you can explore. And for good measure, Ubisoft have allowed you to customise your character in various ways, such as customising your helmet, jacket, gloves, trousers, boots, and also the addition of full body outfits, as well as your sports equipment. This personalisation allows you to feel like you're your own character, especially whilst doing all these winter extreme sports. And although you can't necessarily choose your character's face, there are various templates for you to choose from, but your outfit says enough about you anyway. Steep's gameplay is really revolutionary, compacting many winter sports into one game, whereas usually most sports games only consist of one sport, which I guess is catering to a specific audience. Ubisoft have now implemented a new multiplayer beta into Steep, which allows you and three other of your friends to compete in various races and missions to find out which one of you is the best. Whereas originally in Steep, you could only get into a group of four and traverse the mountaintops. 
you couldn't get into any races or missions with each other. I feel like this new multiplayer beta adds a new side to Steep, allowing for more co-op friendly gameplay as now it encourages you more than ever to play with your friends. Steep is certainly the way forward for the newer line of extreme sports games. It adds a level of challenge for its player base and yet not too much challenge that it excludes the less experienced players. I really think that extreme sports games going forward could really take a leaf out of Steep's book as it really brought back the extreme sports games not only for me but also for many others who love that genre. Thank you for watching this video, if you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more videos like this one then please subscribe so you don't miss another one from me. So thank you and goodbye.